Welcome back to the show. Lou and Jackie here along with our good friend Sherry Clark. And of course, you realize that uh, summer is coming uh, to an end. Uh, we just heard that meteorological summer uh, comes to an end tomorrow, Jackie. So, you know, a lot of people in the summertime just like to curl up and maybe on a hammock or something with a book. There you Good go. Book. And Sherry Enjoy Clark it. with Fork in the Road. That's kind of what we're covering today is some great reads that are probably as we can come to expect, good for you at the same time. Good morning, <laughs> oh, Sherry. Good Great morning. to see you. Good. Good morning. Well, you know, the, you know, I usually come up with the content for what we're going to talk about based on a page from my own playbook, something right. that happens in my own life. So this summer, one of the projects that I had set out for myself was to clean and redo my entire home office. Okay. Which meant, and I've got a ton of books in there. And so I took my the load of books that I was ready to let go of, which is hard for those, those of you who are listening and who are book people. It's hard to let go of your books. You know, they become precious. So I took them to Half Price Books and you're, get ready, sit down. I got three hundred and sixty-eight dollars, which if, how, how many, many books? Yeah, how many yeah. books? That's what I'm saying. That's a lot of money. Half price books gives you sometimes like twenty-five cents for a book. So right. trust me, I made a few trips, and I love fiction. But what I did was I went through and I said, I'm going to keep the books that really speak to me, and I'm going to keep the ones that have I still am not done with learning about. And so I brought a few of those today. But I also wanted to make a few points about reading and we're coming into school and let's just jump right into that, do you think? Okay. Let's okay. do it. Okay. So the first thing, the book that I'm reading right now that's uh, that's on my nightstand is this one. In fact, I even still have my, my little, my unfancy um, Mark bookmark, Mark, yeah. yes. Um, this one is about fear and mastering fear. And what one of the things that I like about it is that um, it's written by a Navy, a former Navy SEAL. So it's not, um, it's not a foo-foo, you know, book, trust me. It's very direct. Um, I think men would like this book but women would too and one of the examples that keeps coming up in this book that I really like that they talk about over and over is someone that was trying to learn how to swim and there was somebody um, that was not was very fearful of the water and it talked about the way in which this Navy SEAL taught this person how to swim and it had to do with bite-sized chunks and when I read it I thought to myself that is exactly how we overcome fear of everything. Mm -hmm. So it's one of those books that you can take and apply to anything. And fear doesn't have to be something huge and magnificent like fear of swimming or whatever. We all have fears about taking risks in our lives or about change or those types of things. So that one's definitely a two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I really have enjoyed that book. Jackie, I brought one specifically for you. Okay. Because it's the ant <laughs> antidote of everything that you need to hear. Um, a Year of a a Yes by Shonda Rhimes is a fabulous book for people who are not living um, their lives fully and who are maybe saying no to opportunities out of fear, out of whatever reason. You are not one of those people. <laughs> so I think you should read it because it will be a way for you to reflect and say, you know what, I am doing all of those things. Maybe I could pull back a little bit and learn to say something else. But for those of us who, which is most of the population, who could learn a little bit more from taking more risks, doing more things, putting ourselves out there. So what she did in her book was she talked about, um, she said yes to uh, uh, giving a commencement address. Mm -hmm. Talk about fear. I mean, even those of us who aren't fearful about speaking publicly, that's, that's enough a to big be, deal. That's a big deal. Well, that's your that's the number one fear of most people is speaking in public. So I can understand why that would be a, huge, a big one. Yeah, huge. And she said yes to it, even though she didn't want to. And you're supposed to be inspiring young minds and everything exactly. else. Yeah, that would be a little daunting. Yes. And she said yes to things like um, fixing personal relationships. Yes to opportunities that she would normally have bowed on a family obligation that you're like, that doesn't sound like any fun. Yes to everything. And she talked about her learnings. And then underneath that, there's a journal that she has that's, that's oh, nice. also, so you can, if you decide to do your own you year of yes. You can take your own journey with this book. Exactly. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah. I love that. Another option might be, um, if we're talking about, we're, a lot of us try to do self-improvement things in, mm -hmm. in, when the seasons change. So one of the things that we want to change oftentimes is what are we eating? What are we doing? What can we change? So this one I really like. This is called The Cravings Cure. And most of us have issues with something that we might do a little bit too much of. Many of us do. Um, we think maybe we shouldn't be doing caffeine. We think maybe the alcohol, maybe there's too much sugar in our life. Maybe we just simply eat too much. Yeah, too much candy. or Exactly. Yeah, candy. Yes. So sometimes it's consuming things. Sometimes it's just, you know, you've got a craving for watching TV. She talks about the nutritional 
things that you can do to support that. So there's supplements. Um, it could be um, reprogramming. I know, believe it or not, you guys, this is reveal time. I smoked cigarettes. I know. <laughs> can you believe? Mm -hmm. It's true. I'm owning it. I smoked cigarettes when I was in college. And for me, to not smoke meant changing some behaviors. Absolutely. Whenever I drank coffee with a good friend, we had to smoke a you cigarette. Smoked. So I couldn't have coffee with that friend while I was getting over cigarettes. She talks about things like that. Um, for other people, the, it, it's a little bit more pointed what the craving is that you might need to address. And this one, the alcohol, um, I've had this book on before. I really like this person because she talks about going again in incremental steps and then jumping off um, and examining your relationship with alcohol. So lots of different things. I brought a book. Yes. <laughs> This is one I, I'm glad you didn't take to half price books, although I wish if, if you do take it to half price books, you let me know because I'm going to buy it. <laughs> She's going to get it. I love old photos, and of course, you're going to see a, uh, many, many of them if you have your old uh, yearbook um, from years past, and I absolutely love this. So, what year are we talking about? Are you able to reveal that? I'm able to read. I told you that I smoked. I mean, what the heck? Um, oh, here it goes. I guess it says here on the side. Okay. 1974. So 1974. All right. I graduated from Saratoga Springs High School in Saratoga Springs, New York. That's and why then, there's a geyser. That's a geyser. I lived. I <laughs> that's actually the springs part of Saratoga Springs. <laughs> I actually lived on Geyser Road. No. Oh, of course no you did. Way. Uh, yeah. Of course it's you true. did. It's true. So this was my high school yearbook, and the yeah. reason I brought that in was because while we're going through our books and looking at things, let's take that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's Thanks. Thing. Whatever. <laughs> While we're taking a trip down memory lane and and doing things, yes. what if we reach out to some of our? We can we could go to another shot now. Oh yeah, let me show you my favorite. I'm going to show no. you my favorite. No, no, Here's no. another one. No, this Jackie's is, been doing some research. I yeah. love looking at old photos because it takes you back in time, shows you hairstyles, yeah. clothing, things like <laughs> Mrs. Sharp with uh, health and fitness is my absolute. Whoops. She sorry. yeah, health and fit. She was She's my role my model. Favorite. Nice hair. <laughs> Look at that. That is fantastic. I aspire to that hair. I do too. That is, uh, my I mom had that hair do. Yeah. Really? Yeah, no <laughs> question know, about it. it, yeah. I love it. Oh, it's just fun looking at memories. It gets yes. people write things in your books, which many have people uh, have written in yours as well. So it's just a wonderful memory, almost a journal diary type situation. It is, it's awesome. And let's use it as an excuse to reach out to some of those people that we've lost oh, contact yeah. with because we spend so much time in social media, so much time you know, like looking at a screen and when I got that out, I thought to myself, there's a few people in here that I need to reach out to, so I'm making that commitment now. I will not smoke cigarettes ever again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's been 35 years. I don't think there's much danger of that. And I'm going to reach out to some of my former classmates. So I, I brought you idea. guys a cup of tea. I'm going to invite you to, to do that. Have your tea. Okay. Look at your books um, and, and enjoy yourselves. That's really what this season is about. Just dive into them and uh, just appreciate everything that they're worth. Exactly. Perfect. Wonderful. Oh, if people want some other uh, reading suggestions, because I know if you are if you love to read, you're always, what's, what are you reading? What are you reading? So we can yes. kind of inspire one another. How can they get in touch with you to learn more about that? Well, an email would be a great place to start. Send it to info at fork-road.com or visit my website, which is www.fork-road.com. I want to know what you're reading. I want to know where you buy your books. Do you go to Half Price Books? Maybe you bought Maybe one. Maybe you bought one of Sherry's books. Maybe one Sherry's really name in it now. Yes, to say yes. uh, thank you on that. But we also want to remind everybody of something you're doing tonight. Yes. Okay. So and if you and so if reading's just not your thing, mm -hmm. and you're like, I can't wait for this segment to be over. I've got a solution for you. <laughs> I'm doing an audio training this evening, and it's free. And it is. It's called Get In or Get Out, and it's all about. Um, energy and the energy that we put into things. So we, there's a lot of times that we'll do something that we're really involved in and really excited about and we, it, it consumes us. And there's other times that you're kind of just phoning it in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about that and what to do if you're in the phoning it in zone. Okay. okay? So um, if you want to do that, why don't you just send me an email and I'll send you the link to that. It's perfectly free and I, there'll be a replay if you miss it. So I would love to invite and I'd love to hear from our local audience because I get a worldwide audience for this. I want to hear from local people people what you think. And of what it. time are we doing Love this? It. It's at 7 o'clock tonight. 7 o'clock tonight? 7 o'clock okay. tonight. Perfect. Yep. And that'll be right. live. And yes. these are really good so teas here. What did you bring over to us real quick? So I brought you the mango ginger tea, which I really knew that you would like because mm -hmm. you're the ginger fan. And Jackie, really you have Bancha Hochica. And the reason I picked that is it's a twig tea. Um, it's It's got a little bit of caffeine, not there a lot, go. but it's really good stuff. 
So I, and delicious. Really it has good. a little bit of green, uh, green flavor, flavor to it. Yes. And I just, to me, I like to make rituals when I'm reading. So mm -hmm. that's why the tea, you know, tea books. Uh, and, and I also bring a little cookie snack. Yeah. I got your back. Yeah. You're good. <laughs> You're making a, a wonderful, uh, homey feel of, of really digging into something we can be better about ourselves with. In uh, spite of the fact that you showed the picture of me. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and the, now it's going to uh, be online forever, <laughs> just so you know. You can go back and Great. see Sherry's pictures later on. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you so much. You're so and, welcome. All right.